Here we are in Philly. Citizens Bank Park. Pretty good place. Used to be even better when they opened two and a half hours early. But I think I should still have a pretty good day today. Double digits would be nice. Mariners are in town. A lot of good lefty hitters. This stadium is fun for BP, but it's kind of tough during games. There are wide, expansive sections of seats in the outfield, you know, from foul pole all the way close to, you know, left center, right center field. So you have a lot of sections to work with. The fences are kind of shallow too, so you can play up for the wimpy hitters, you can play deep for the big boys. It's fun, you can really position yourself, run back and forth from right field to left field, but there's no cross aisle and there's no standing room that's really worth a damn in this place. So once the game starts and the seats begin filling up, there's not much room to run back and forth. And of course the key to catching batted balls is to have lateral range. Antonio, wanna play catch? Playing catch with the player, it's a line that I use often, and 19 out of 20 times, or 49 out of 50, they ignore me. So it might appear that it's a different day and I'm wearing different clothing, but in fact, I just changed out of my Phillies gear and into my Mariners gear. Try to get some more toss-ups from these guys, and as soon as right field opens at 5.35 p.m., head out in that direction and try to catch a few home runs. He's gonna crank one. I could do it, but it would just cause such a scene with security here. So, a little bit farther out than I thought. days where I'm constantly finding myself out of position. You know, they'll hit a ball, I run, I'm right in line with it, and it just falls a couple rows short. I want to catch a home run, that's really what's fun, but I'm just missing out. Oh, here we go. I caught that home run, that older gentleman in the front row, he came up to me and he said, thank you for jumping in front of me. And I thought he was being sarcastic and kind of chewing me out. And I said, I I'm sorry, would you like a baseball? And he said, no, I'm serious, thank you, because you saved me from getting hit. So, you know, there's this perception that every time I reach in front of somebody, someone else is pissed off, but just the exact opposite thing happened and then I gave that ball away to a kid anyway, so. section and back to chase one ball and after missing it I looked up and I think it was Cano in the cage and he just drilled a deep line drive pretty much right at me so you know, in a way it kind of all evens out. It's pretty much safe to say that you'll never see. I got my eighth ball of the day tossed by a coach patrolling right center field with a fungo bat and I was like half paying attention and talking to an usher and I saw people kind of look up and there was a home run flying and I drifted to my right, grabbed that one, so I'm up to nine for the day. I'm actually looking more in the seats right now to see where I have room to run than I am looking at the seats. 
players who are on the field or in the game. Obviously, I can tell which players are more likely to hit the ball to certain places, but even if I go to that place and it's just wall-to-wall -wall people, it's not going to do me much good. pretty good. Normally I'm in the outfield, but tonight I played the Mariners' dugout. Got a Ryan Howard squibber in the first inning, tossed up by Chris Woodward. After the seventh inning, Robbie Cano tossed me a third out ball. So I finished with 13 total, gave a bunch away to some kids. Here's six. I don't think I can hold more than that, but, you know, pretty cool. Lifetime total, 7,597.